any professional racer will tell you that a properly tuned steering setup will make or break your car's performance. An old GM steering box certainly won't win you any races. At 50 years old, they're worn out and sloppy and are unstable at high speeds. Detroit Speed's Quick Ratio Power Steering Box provides modern steering performance feel similar to a rack and pinion. In the steering box, replace GM Delphi 600 or 800 series power steering box. The DSE power steering gear box has an increased effort in the steering wheel for a modern performance feel. It fits various GM applications and is direct bolt-on for the third gen F-body application. In order to install the DSE power steering gear box, you also need a few other items. You'll have to replace either your rag joint or your steering shaft coupler, as well as the power steering hoses and possibly a fitting for your power steering pump. If you need to replace your power steering pitman arm, DSE offers service kits for the 1967 to 92 F body as well as the 68 to 72 Nova applications. Today, we're going to show you how to install the DSE power steering gearbox on Cody's 1968 Camaro. Support the vehicle on jack stands. Remove the driver's side front wheel and tire from the vehicle. Remove the hardware connecting the rag joint to the steering column or the steering shaft. Remove the pitman arm nut from the steering gear. Remove the pitman arm from the steering gear using a pitman arm removal tool. If the vehicle has original power steering, inspect the arm for wear and save for reinstallation later. If the vehicle has manual steering, you'll need a replacement power steering pitman arm. DSE offers part number 092301DS for 1967 to 69 Camaro and 1968 to 72 Nova. Remove the power steering hoses from the steering gear. Cap the open ports in the steering gear to prevent it from leaking. With the original steering gear properly supported, remove the three bolts that attach the gear to the frame rail. These bolts will be reused for installation of the new steering gear. Pry the rag joint away from the steering column and remove the steering gear from the vehicle. Remove the pressure and return hoses from the back of the power steering pump. Install the DSE power steering pump fitting into the back of the pump where the pressure hose was removed. Do not over tighten. Center the gear on the bench before it is installed. Turn the input shaft all the way to one side. Turn the gear all the way in the other direction and count the turns. Turn the gear back in the opposite direction half the number of turns. Install the steering gear fittings into the appropriate ports in the steering gear. The return port fitting size is a smaller M16 by 1.5 mm and the pressure port fitting size is a larger M18 by 1.5 mm port. Do not over tighten. Install the rag joint onto the steering column using provided hardware and tighten. Make sure the steering wheel is straight. Place the DSC steering gear against the frame. Install the input shaft of the steering gear into the rag joint. Install the original three steering gear bolts into the new steering gear. Use NICs on the threads of the bolts. Be sure to use the correct mounting points on the steering gear as the fourth mounting boss is not used. Tighten the bolts and torque them to 70 foot-pounds. Loosely install the pre-crimped power steering hose ends onto the steering gear fittings. Route the hoses to the power steering pump while noting the desired position of the 93-6AN fitting used on the pressure hose in the hose kit. Remove the hoses from the steering gear fittings and tightly wrap the steel braid with the tape at the cut line. Cut the hoses to length. Cutting through the layers of tape will keep the braid from excessively flaring. Install the return hose clamp fitting over the freshly cut Dash 8AN larger return hose. Remove the nut from the 90 degree Dash 6AN fitting and slide it over the freshly cut Dash 6AN smaller supply hose and remove the tape. Insert the ferrule between the stainless steel braiding and the PTFE hose. Attach the hose with the installed ferrule onto the 90 degree Dash 6AN fitting and loosely secure the nut. Securely tighten the 90 degree Dash 6AN fitting onto the outlet fitting at the back of the pump. Carefully install the provided heat shrink tubing onto the power steering pump reservoir's barbed fitting. Position the heat shrink to cover the actual barb. Loosely install the return hose larger diameter onto the reservoir's barbed fitting using the hose clamp and cover. Tighten the hose clamp on the return fitting. Use tie wraps to keep the power steering hoses away from the headers. Tighten the pinch bolt in the rag joint. Attach the pitman arm onto the DSC steering gear and make sure the dust shield is on the steering gear before the pitman arm is installed. Install the pitman arm nut and washer onto the steering gear and tighten. 
Torque the nut to 120 foot-pounds. Add power steering fluid to the system. Bleed the system by slowly turning the steering wheel from full left lock to full right lock several times. All air must be bled from the system. Avoid hard steering input into full lock positions. Repeat the previous steps three to four times. Start the engine and repeat the previous steps to finish bleeding the steering system. Turn off the engine and recheck the fluid levels. Reinstall the driver's side front wheel and tire and put the vehicle back on the ground. Torque the front wheel. Since the pitman arm has been removed and reinstalled, an alignment by a professional alignment shop is recommended. Thanks for watching the installation of our DSE power steering gearbox. If you have any questions, please call us at 704-662-3272 or shoot us an email at tech at DetroitSpeed.com. Don't forget to like and follow us on social media or visit our website at DetroitSpeed.com. <laughs>